let u be equal to the set of x in R4 such that this matrix times x is equal to 0 and v be equal to the span of 1 a half 0 minus 1 and minus 2 0 1 0. Give four vectors in each of u and v. Well, I should understand the problem which means I need to understand what it means to write these things about these sets. This set is the set of vectors in R4 so that's where to look it's going to have length four vectors in it such that this rule is true so to tell if a vector is in my set I just need to put it here as a column next to this matrix and see if the answer is the zero vector so the set U is defined in terms of a rule for checking to see if a vector is in the set or not this one is says it's the span of these two vectors what does span mean span is the set of linear combinations of two vectors so that tells me how to make vectors in V it says do linear combinations of those two vectors and the answer will be guaranteed to be in V so this second one looks like the best place to start because it's going to be easier to make vectors in the set because the definition tells me how to make the vectors V is the set of linear combinations of 1 a half 0 minus 1 and minus 2 0 1 0 so all I need to do is write down some linear combinations of those vectors and that will produce vectors in V alright well I suppose um, 0 of 1 plus 0 of the other would be the 0 vector so that would be in V Uh, and I could do one of the first vector and none of the other ones, so that would be one a half zero minus one. That would be in V. Well, I suppose just as well I could do zero of the first vector and one of the second vector. And um, another linear combination I could add them together. That would work. So one minus two is minus one. A half plus zero is a half. 0 plus 1 is 1 and minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1 so that's in V and I suppose I could do this really as long as I wanted I could do 2 of the first one and 5 of the second and minus 3 of the first one and 4 fifths of the second and any combination I wanted and I could write down vectors till the cows come home you let me think about you now so I have a rule for telling if a vector is in you and the rule is this that if I multiply my vector by this matrix I get the zero vector well I can think of at least one vector that does that already if I put the zero vector in that spot where x is then I'll definitely get the zero vector as my answer so 1 0 2 3 0 0 0 minus 1 5 0 10 0 0 0 0 0 is 0 0 0 so the 0 vector is in U alright that was easy but I need three more I need to somehow think of something that can go next to this matrix in this position here to produce the answer 0 0 0 now what happens when I multiply a matrix by a column well let me just think for example if I did this that would mean I'd go 1 times 1 0 times 0 3 times 2 1 times 3 and that would go in the first coordinate of the answer but then in the next row I'll go 1 times the first thing and then the next row will be 1 times the first thing so I'm really doing 1 of the whole first column so when I do this multiplication I'm doing 1 times this whole first column plus 0 times this whole second column plus 3 times this whole third column plus 1 times this whole fourth column so all I need to do is figure out what numbers to put in here to produce the zero vector at the end well I've got an idea 
there's a zero column here. So if I put a one um, in the position that matches with that second column, that will produce the zero vector as my answer. So zero one zero zero is in U. Well, I've got two so far. What about a third one? Well, let me give myself some space to do it. So I need to produce zero, zero, zero. Well, I suppose if I wanted to cancel out any of the columns, I could go 2 times this minus 2, oh, and 2 times 5 minus 10, uh, that would give me 0 as well. So I reckon if I have 2 of the first column and minus 1 of the third column, I'll get 2 of this minus 1 of this, and the other two are 0, and so that will be, give me the 0 vector in the end. Okay, so that one's going to work. So I've got one more to do. Well, you know what? Look, if if one of the second column produces the zero vector, then three of the second column produces the zero vector as well. So I might as well do this. So this vector's in here as well. If I wanted to produce more, well, I mean, I could do multiples of any vector I've got so far. But what I could do is I could actually attempt to solve that equation, which I know how to do. I could row reduce it. I could row reduce it and find all the solutions, um, and there'd be infinitely many. But I didn't have to do that. I just had to pick four vectors that were in there. So the question is done.